Rack, is it worth a buy? Let. Who the fuck are you? Let's read. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll stop doing that, mate. We we'll, we'll stopped. We we'll stopped doing that. Sorry, we don't do that anymore. Sorry, Collins. But as he said, let's read. Well, we'd better read, shouldn't we? Rack is all about action. Spectacular action. The addictive kill chain system encourages you to mow down as many enemies in a short period of time as possible. No hiding. Keep your chain going by getting out there and kicking some alien ass. Guys, Rack is... It should be on the National Health Service as a good prescription for stress relief. This game is one of the best stress relieving tonics I've ever seen. Basically, you are given weapons, you are given a map, and it is full of aliens, and you just go around kicking the shit out of them. And the faster you kill them, the more points you get for killing them. It goes up in like a... It goes boop, 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 little, little boopy, boops. It's boops. The, it, it, Back your shit and explain. Right, you kill an alien, then you kill another, then you kill another, then you kill another. If you kill them fast enough, it can go boop. Then you kill another one straight away after that goes boop. And if you kill another one after that it goes boop, then it keeps going boop, 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 boop. And it just sends you insane and you go on a killing, murderous fucking spree and it's great. I should mention that this is a throwback to the old first person games like Doom and Quake, where you have your shitty little maps. But they're not shitty, they're really fun. They're just like your little enclosed roomy maps with little buttons that activate doors here and there with lava pits and slime pits and boss fights. It's all homage to the old Duke Nukem and all of that kind of stuff. Not the new Duke Nukem, I mean the proper one. The, the, the good old Duke Nukem. And it's still in early access at the minute, guys, but when it's finished, there's going to be eight maps in this. And uh, it's really shaping up to be a good little game. It's £10, but at the moment it's on Steam sale. Well, at the moment of this review it is, uh, which ends on the 2nd of December. And it's, you can pick it up for £7.25. Um, what I would like to say as well, the graphics are that arty style that I can't stand. But it does run really, really well. I mean, the graphics aren't the best, let's be honest. But it's, it's a cheap game. It's a cheap game. It's a cheap Doom Quake Duke Nukem game with a little bit of a twist in the sense that you have kill streaks. The game is single player only and there's no plans for any kind of multiplayer. It does have a Steam thing, you know, the workshop. So expect a lot of mods to come out for this, uh, some kind, you can just imagine the kind of crazy mods that's going to come out for this. It also has 69 Steam achievements. Hooray! We love Steam. No, we don't. We don't like Steam achievements. Why? Achievements. Achievements. You know achievement. You know what achievements are, guys? In games, bollocks. That's what they are. Bollocks. Whoever invented Steam, it's for the consoles, isn't it? It's the console. They like. They like pats on the back. You've achieved 10 kills. You are now a warrior. <gasps> Mom, I'm a warrior! Yay! Son, you haven't achieved fuck all. Achievements are things like getting a promotion in your job in real life, passing your exams, having sex for the first time, and lasting more than 30 seconds is an achievement. They are achievements in life. Killing ten fucking monsters with a fucking gun is not a fucking achievement, alright? It's an insult to the word achievement. Back in on with a game review, we know. So it's a solid little game. Um, probably one you want to pick up in the sales. Uh, I'm going to give it the thumbs up because it's fun, it's great for stress relief, and uh, yeah, if you're into this kind of old doomy quick Duke Nukem games, well worth picking up. Great little game.